I think this has been a really great year for folks to, to be able to start normalizing the conversation about mental health and mental well-being. For 45 years, Northeast Youth and Family Services has been providing mental health resources to suburban Ramsey County. At Northeast Youth and Family Services is a trauma-informed center, and that means it's not only how we interact with our clients, but how we create physical spaces within our, our clinics and how we interact and support each other as a team. President and CEO Tara Jevons Singh came into the position just as the pandemic was hitting last spring. Her challenge was to continue services at a time when they were needed most. I will say that creating a cohesive staff when people are just little squares on the Brady Bunch screen on the, on the TV or you know on a Zoom call versus being in person, it's not the same. NYFS serves clients regardless of their ability to pay and Jebin Singh says they've seen an increase in the un and underinsured. They partnered with the City of White Bear Lake who provided them funds to help meet the needs of the community. We have certain dollar amounts and funds that help us support those services and we're going through them at a pretty good rate. Um, luckily though I will say that the community and some of those grants have met the greater need and have added a little bit of extra funds to support those services. The money helped facilitate the technical changes due to COVID including telehealth services, conducting over 5,500 in the last year. They also created workshops and programs and were able to provide three free sessions for anyone in need of them, skipping the formalities of a traditional mental health setting. We understood that in these times, you just might need to sit down and have some strategies to say, my child's having some anxiety about going back to school. What are some ways that I can support them that wouldn't necessarily need such a formal setting? The organization serves people of all ages and partners with 15 municipalities and three school districts offering mental health and senior chore services, youth diversion programs, and community advocacy. Between their offices in White Bear Lake and Shoreview, there are 40 on staff, those working on site ensuring safety measures are maintained. There's a lot of components here that you just go home and it's a very rewarding job. According to a survey conducted by the CDC, Minnesota's mental health is better than most states, but still nearly 28% reported experiencing symptoms of anxiety or depressive disorder in the most recent data available, and young people seem to be most at risk. These two offices here are for our school-based therapists. Um, we don't really see them too often because the schools are open back up. With family referrals down during the pandemic, they're back up now that kids are back in school. Jevin Singh, who says her family benefited from mental health services, is grateful to give back in her role and encourages anyone who's thinking about it to reach out. If there's any part of you ever that thinks it might be time to ask for help, assume that, that's, that it's the right time to ask for help. Um, at, at worst, you'll end up having a, conver a friendly conversation with somebody who's there to listen and at best, you'll get tapped into the services that, that are desperately needed for you or your family.